All right, folks. Uh, so I've got a pretty interesting product here from Whiskey24. I know I've been doing a lot of videos lately on their stuff. I will say I went out and bought this one uh, myself because I realized that the first spear vests, at least the, the older ones, are not uh, placard friendly from the factory. I didn't know this product existed until a couple weeks ago. I, I ran across it somewhere else. Somebody was selling a strand hog that had it on there and I thought it was a pretty sweet uh, idea. So I went out and bought it and uh, it definitely does uh, exactly what it's advertised to do, which is make your first spear plate carrier placard friendly. And it does it without adding a ton of bulk. So in the past, I've covered uh, the, the axle version of the solution and the axle is a, a little bit cleaner. Uh, it has a smaller footprint. Uh, you've got very similar uh, to, to all of their other placard adapters with how you get the buckles on there with the Tegris that threads up and down across the middle. And then the Velcro panel that locks in with some Tegris wings. <clears throat> very clean setup, fairly affordable. Uh, this one is a little bit cheaper and, and still just as clean uh, in my opinion. Uh, it's and it's equally uh, easy and or difficult to install. So now we'll go over how it works. Uh, so you've got this this longer wing here, which routes into your plate bag, uh, engages with the Velcro that the flap would normally secure with, and then it gives you a new Velcro face that your flap then secures with. Uh, I will say if you're using this with a dangler. And plate backers, you've kind of got a lot going on in your plate bag, and you may struggle a little bit to secure it fully. Uh, but that could just be an issue of staggering some Velcro. I think you'll still have the plate bag secure. You just might have a little bit of bulk coming off the bottom of the plate bag. Not a huge deal. All right, so you've got that to secure the bottom of it. And then you've got these uh, one wrap wings here that come off the front of the panel and engage with the Velcro that's internal on the first sphere. This is uh, the STT from SKD, so it happened to have the, the pontoon Velcro. I can't remember uh, what the internal Velcro on other first sphere vests looks like, so just be aware of that, that if you don't have any loop on the inside of your vest, it may not work as well. All right, so you've got those wings there, and then uh, as you lift this up, you can see that there's two long, uh, I think they're WTF straps is what he calls them, and then four short ones in the middle. So it's almost like putting on a zip-off back panel. You you molly the, the top center of your panel to your, your first sphere setup, and then once you've got those kind of threaded a little bit, then you work in these wings, which are you know down one molly row uh, for where their starting point is. Bring that all the way down and then secure it at the bottom. That keeps it on the plate bag pretty well by itself. Uh, you tuck the flap to secure the bottom and then you tuck those wings around to just keep this top corner from moving. Uh, it's a little counterintuitive the way it's dropped down from the top of the plate bag. You know, just used to threading molly. I started at the top and quickly realized that I'm blocking the buckles and that doesn't work. So it does look a little odd up top. Uh, brings your your kind of ID plate Velcro down a little bit uh, where it's normally, you know, all the way up. Uh, so that's a little bit uh, unique, but <clears throat> it's it's fully functional. I don't think it looks uh, crazy at all on there. It doesn't, you know, throw off the look of the first sphere too much if that's your thing. And then as far as where placards end up, you know, mounting because some people get real stressed about the ride height on their placards. Granted, this is the Shaw, so I could move it wherever I wanted, but you know, all the way as tight as it goes, <clears throat> it's within a half inch of, of the bottom of the plate bag uh, as it sits. So everything sits where it should be. Uh, you get the, the placard compatibility on your first sphere. You get a little bit of uh, name tag or ID tag Velcro up top. Um, you do have the one wrap here. If you wanted to mount a push to talk on the side of that, you could absolutely do that. It's not a bad idea. You could use it for some com routing. You could, you know, undo the Velcro, run your cables up, and then wrap that back around and, and lock some cabling down. 
Uh, one one thing that would have been neat to see is to because we're already dropping this from the top of the plate bag is to have some sort of uh, admin capability built in there. You could even do it on the front face, just put a little flap on there. But that would be a very easy mod to do after the fact too if you had a chunk of whatever matching material and you took it to Taylor. They should be able to throw that on there real easy. It'd be three stitch lines and it really wouldn't interfere with anything as long as they dodged uh, the laser cut molly there, um, which I think would be easy enough to do. <clears throat> Mine did come with the, the side release buckles mounted on there. I would imagine that's how they all come because I, I didn't do anything special when I ordered it. I just hopped on the website and, and submitted the order. Uh, it's... It's really just two layers of material plus plus Velcro. So you're really not adding much bulk, not much weight. And you get that placard compatibility with your first sphere. You still have access to the tubes on the side. Uh, so everything's groovy there. The one thing that it doesn't really play super well with is uh, wingman pouches. But if you had like the axle B-wing, that should work fine because it's going to span the tube. Uh, or you just take those tubes uh, off and put them on your, your placard and then run everything on top of, of the plate carrier. So that's the, the Whiskey 2.4. I think it's load panel. Uh, might be might be First Spear load panel. It's not hard to find. Just search First Spear on their website and it'll pop right up. It's one of the only things on there for First Spear. But really cool product. Uh, I think, I want to say it was less than $40, uh, but I might be a little off on that. Uh, but it makes your, your first spear rig uh, placard compatible. And it's much cheaper than, you know, trying to trying to pawn off your first spear and, and get something new. Because uh, there are a lot of good things about the first spear plate carriers uh, outside of not being placard compatible. So, appreciate your time. Uh, thanks for checking out this product. If you got a first spear, give it a shot. It's a, it's a good deal and it, it's effective.